The most obvious part of GTA 6's audio improvement comes from the weapons. I remember being shocked after hearing them for the first time. In the interiors, a gunshot sounds loud, deafening, and is made more intense because of how enclosed the space is. Outside, gunshots make a huge echo like in Red Dead Redemption 2, and it all just sounds very scary and not at all arcadey like GTA 4 and 5's. To make a long topic short, everything just sounds more correct. Pedestrian dialogue is plentiful, vehicle doors sound crisp and have an impactful thud when they shut, aiming your pistol makes a quick grip sound from what we've heard. The acting is great. In the trailer, NPCs interacted with each other well, but when it's paired with them talking to each other realistically like in the clips, it's pretty mind-boggling to see. As for ways to get around the map, cars are of course Cars are of course a given, and in the trailer we saw a ton of boat and plane traffic. There's also a clip with Jason walking at a Vice City metro station, so travel by train might return as a main feature since it was very handy in GTA 4. And also, one of the detail catching writers in the document wrote about horse buttons in the debug menu, possibly left over from Red Dead 2, but horses were supposed to be in Grand Theft Auto 5 at one point before it became cut content, so it's not crazy to think they might be in GTA 6. Finally, after all the careful scene examination, we'll just be talking about some small bonus details and I will be adding my own as well. The barbed wire on the prison is an actual 3D model and not a 2D texture like in GTA 5. GTA 6's official font has been discovered. Collectibles may be movable. Clothing has photorealistic folds. 